Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder Series. We're glad you're here. How to accelerate your data platform migration, own your IP, attract and retain talent, and improve the outcomes of that migration. Hello, my name is Robert Whiffle. I'm a senior solutions architect at Databricks, and I want to talk to you today about Project Legion, a framework for accelerating migrations from Databricks. At a high level, Legion is an AI-based code explainer and translator. Code explanation is fundamental to everything else in terms of your migration, because understanding is a precursor to moving and improving. Why should you care about this? This offers you a framework to accelerate your migration at little extra cost. It is an accessible Gen AI project with a clear business value through accelerating a migration, and it allows you to have a project which will upskill your team, can be used to attract talent, and best of all, you can own the IP that comes from all of your learnings. And getting started is as straightforward as visiting that GitHub link and following the instructions to download and install. What are we going to cover today? How AI will change migrations, where we are today, how you can get started with this, and then a demo showing the, put the tool in use. Now let's start off with the obvious. Data platform migrations are hard. There's a lot of different things that get in the way between your current state and where you want to be. Start off on the left-hand side there, with a legacy code base, in many cases, there is a lot of code running that no one knows what it does, right? It's written a long time ago, probably been changed a hundred times since it was originally authored, and there's no documentation. Subsequently, touching, moving, and changing this code is high risk. Many times, business critical systems are built on top of this black box code. This means that the quality of moving this is always a paralyzing concern. And it comes with it a fear of turning off these legacy systems because these cri critical applications are running on top of them. And then finally, nobody wants to work on a migration. These are not exciting projects. You know, the, a migration is a good job done when you have su su successfully moved from something old to something new. But generative AI gives us a way and an opportunity to simplify and accelerate all of those steps. We can use generative AI to create a portal into a legacy code base. Let's work backwards from our desired end state. What do we want? We want faster migrations, lower risk, improved quality of migrations. Uh, how we, can we use the migrations as a way to attract and retain talent? And finally, we want to decommission expensive old hardware. We do this through chains of AI agents. Now, we will need refactoring agents to help with rewriting the code. We will need risk agents in order to understand how risky is a piece of code that we're looking at. Is this a bit of code that produces a dashboard that nobody looks at? Is this something that is updating a business critical system? This will then allow us to understand whether this should be code that is moved, is not moved, or is code that can be automated moved, or does it need manual intervention? We need a code translator, something that can actually take in your input source language and output your target language. And then finally, we need to add tools in for the business users as well. How can we increase the discoverability of your code? How can we increase the openness by adding in explanations, intent and documentation? And then what this leads to is increased chances for collaboration. It allows for monitoring of your entire code base, for example, identifying duplicate pipelines helping to reduce duplicate data and creating that single source of truth. And all of this is underpinned and enabled by grounded, relevant explanations. Finally, this all needs to be presented in a user-friendly way. You know, a tool which is difficult to use doesn't get used. So we can present this through a natural language interface that anyone can access. So what we end up with is an agent, a, an AI agent framework tying together all of these different steps. And truly, this is a no regret use case. This offers you the, an opportunity to accelerate your migration. And in doing so, you can declutter your data estate, reduce organizational risk by opening up those black box code pieces that are producing critical information. You can use this to attract and retain talent. 
And this is a way of turning a migration from a dull and boring project that is difficult to put, get people onto to an exciting research project attached to, with, attached to Gen AI. And if you're using Databricks, you already have the platform to do this. Databricks with its Mosaic AI stack, its intrinsic end-to-end -end governance and ability to handle all of your data workloads is the best place for building multi-agent data-centric AI business applications. Let's take a step back. If that's the vision, what do we actually have today? Today, we have a framework that builds underneath a natural language interface, a translator, a search application and a code explanation application. Using this framework requires only prompt engineering skills. This does not require a team of highly skilled data scientists with years of LLM experience. You just need to be able to do some prompt engineering. It's fully open source and fully customizable. This means that you can take this framework and build on it as you need. You can start simple and add complexity as you go. This enables uh, a shift to from lift and shift to move and improve. You don't need to take all the bad code with the good code. Instead, you can take the good code, you can explain the bad stuff, and you can figure out what needs to be moved and what doesn't need to be moved. Finally, through this code explainer agent, this allows us to create a central repository of code intent. This increases the discoverability and collaboration opportunities and also allows you to put in place whole code base health monitoring, identifying duplicate pipelines and op identifying opportunities for homogenizing and rationalizing your data estate. As an example of where this has actually been used today, this was with a Databricks government customer who was migrating about a thousand SQL users from SQL Server to Databricks SQL a year into the migration and they're having trouble. There is a lot of complex and poorly understood code. We have a user base of SQL users who need to learn Databricks and do the migration and there is no migration partner helping out with this work. The end users are being asked to migrate their code whilst learning a new system, whilst doing their day job. And this is causing friction. We did a two week POC with a single data scientist customized and deployed Legion to their front, to their end users and sought feedback. And that feedback was singularly positive. People particularly enjoyed the ease of use, the quality of the output, and also the iteration time with how quickly new requests for feedback, new feedback requests could be incorporated into the application because it was being developed in-house rather than being outsourced to a third party. The outcome was that the customer took this tooling in the house. They decided to move to prod with the app after the demo and the feedback. And this caused a lot of excitement from the data science team as having a real project attached to a real use case with real business value to work on. And from management, because they were actually able to talk about how they were using Gen AI on a real business value project, which was going to save them millions of pounds. Let's go now for a quick demo. Legion runs as a Gradio front-end website running on a Databricks cluster. It can operate in both interactive and batch mode. The interactive is going to be a tool where your users can bring along all of their ad hoc pieces of code. They can fine tune or reuse someone else's prompts, and then they can output a Databricks notebook. Batch mode is going to be for when you want to convert an entire host of files stored in a Unity catalog volume and do an entire batch job of conversion. So let's start off with interactive. So we put some code in here. Once we've got that code, we go through our workflow of fine tuning our agents. Our first agent is an explanation agent. Now we have full LLM configuration opportunities here, but the main, pro of, uh, the main focus of the work is going to be on this system prompt. Here you can add in what is information specific to your business. What are the acronyms that your business uses? What are the drivers of your, what does your business actually do? What differentiates you from everyone else? And then you generate, you get your intent. We then do the same thing with the translation. Once we have our translation and our explanation, we can look to find similar code. Now, 
obviously you need to have some similar code. So you need to have run this already in order to actually find some similar code. And then lastly, in interactive mode, we can actually write this notebook out to Databricks. So if I put in here, say test notebook, and I write that out to the workspace, that is actually going to produce a notebook for me to go and start using. So you'll see here, we have got the AI, we've got the intent, the AI generated intent, and then we've got some actual SQL code here. And in batch mode, this works in exactly the same way. The only difference is that rather than manually inputting a file, you're instead loading some files from a volume. So you need to upload those volumes. Hyperlinks are provided to make this easy. So if you click here, this will take you to the volume where you need to upload your data. The same process applies though. We go through our code explanation, our translation, the similar code object doesn't make, doesn't work here. And then we go to, instead of manually outputting a single notebook, we instead execute a job, which takes us to here and we can get to a jobs page, which will take those agent prompts that you defined and run through an entire end-to-end -end workflow of ingesting the data, applying our LLM agents, and then writing out a batch of notebooks, both to the workspace and to a UC volume for further use. If you have any questions or if you would like to reach out, then please have a look at the GitHub repo. It's our Databricks Labs Sandbox SQL Migration Assistant. And thank you for listening.